Hi, this is Brian from Miramax. Today we'll be doing a maintenance kit on an RP33 third horsepower dual piston compressor. The tools we'll be using today to repair this unit are a 532nd Allen wrench, eighth inch Allen wrench, a T25 Torx wrench, a quarter inch nut driver, a small pick tool, and a small flame source to remove Loctite from the screws. Included with the maintenance kit are two cylinder sleeves, two piston cups, you will not be using the cardboard. Two O-ring gaskets. Two cylinder gaskets. Four leaf fells and eight screws are also included with this kit. But the four with a Torx head you will not be using. First, use a 532nd Allen wrench to remove the two screws holding down the manifold. Remove and save the two bushings underneath the manifold. Next, use a T25 Torx wrench to remove the remaining six screws on the top of the cylinder head. Take note that the two inner screws are shorter than the outer four screws. Next, remove the cylinder head and set to the side. Starting with one cylinder, Use an eighth inch Allen wrench to remove the two set screws on the piston cup. Next, remove the cylinder sleeve. On this cylinder sleeve, you can clearly notice it was worn and part of the cause for the poor performance. Remove and discard the worn piston cup and install the new one from the maintenance kit. Next, firmly push the piston cup into the cylinder sleeve. Flip over to ensure the piston cup is evenly aligned. Reinstall the cylinder sleeve onto the piston and line up the holes. Use two new screws supplied with your maintenance kit to reinstall your piston cup. Repeat this process for the second cylinder. Remove the two set screws on the piston. Remove the cylinder and piston cup and apply new ones. Firmly push the piston cup into the cylinder sleeve and ensure even alignment. Reinstall the cylinder on the piston using two new screws supplied with the kit. Next, separate the valve plate from the cylinder head. Remove and discard the two O-rings and two gaskets from the bottom and top of the cylinder head. Next, remove the leaf valves. The leaf valves are originally installed with Loctite. We recommend using a torch or other heat source to soften the Loctite before removing the screws. Apply heat for approximately three to five seconds and gently remove the screws using a quarter inch nut driver. Save the screws and square washer, but discard the leaf valves. Repeat this process for all four leaf valves. On the top leaf valves, also save the leaf valve retainers. These are needed when reinstalling the new leaf valves. Next, install the new leaf valves from the maintenance kit. Align the leaf valve over the hole on the cylinder head and secure with a set screw and square washer. Repeat this for the second side. Do not over tighten as you can cause the screw to break inside the cylinder head. Once complete, flip the cylinder head over and repeat the process for the other two leaf valves. When installing the top two leaf valves, note to reinstall the leaf valve retainer with a curved portion resting on the leaf valve. Ensure all four leaf valves completely cover the holes. Next, install the two new O-rings from the maintenance kit onto the bottom of the cylinder head. Flip the cylinder head back onto the cylinder and push down firmly to secure into place. Then install the two new gaskets from the maintenance kit onto the top of the cylinder head. Next, install the head cover plates, aligning the pins to the holes on the top of the cylinder head.
Install the four longer screws into the holes along the outside of the compressor. Then install the two smaller screws into the inner holes. Finally, tighten all six screws. We recommend going back and forth between screws to ensure the screws are securely in place. Be sure not to over tighten. Reapply the two bushings onto the two remaining holes in the cylinder head. Reinstall the manifold using the two remaining screws. Tighten down using a 5-32nd Allen wrench. Be sure to go back and forth to ensure screws are securely in place. This completes the installation of the RP33 compressor maintenance kit. After completing the maintenance kit installation, this is the perfect time to replace the air filter. This should be done every three to six months. Simply hold the base of the air filter and turn the top clockwise to remove the air filter cap. Replace the old air filter with a new one. Today we've just completed the maintenance kit on an RP33 one third horsepower dual piston compressor. For more information, contact your local dealer or visit us online at airmaxeco.com.